Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do a quick haul. Um, I went uh, to Dollar Tree the past two weekends. Um, this video will probably go up much later because I have a whole bunch of other videos to put up. But um, this is just a quick haul. Everything is from Dollar Tree minus the Clean and Clear product, which I'm going to show first. I thought something was outside. Um, so this is my Clean and Clear Deep Action. Oh, I'm gonna bring it up here. Deep Action Cream Cleanser. It's oil free, and um, I'm using the exfoliator right now, which is so amazing. Um, you can see right here. This is actually um, uh, an active breakout, but it's like literally almost gone um the exfoliator works so well and you can use it every day and i really like it so i mean i guess i'll just i'll have a review on my blog eventually um it takes me about two or three months before i do a blog post on a certain item because i want to you know use it at least halfway before i talk about it unless i'm super absolutely in love with it so Okay, so then the other five items are from um, Dollar Tree, and it's a deal. <laughs> so um, I actually have, um, this is the first item, I haven't opened these because I thought I was like, why not do a, a haul? Um, so I already have one, it's called Riverside, and it is an amazing, um, an amazing blush, couldn't think of the word. They call them cheek glows. Yeah. Um, and this one, oh sorry, this one's an outside cafe, 654. And these blushes are non comedogenic, and I learned what non comedogenic means from, um, I'll open it with, um, from Diamonds and Heels 14, if I'm not mistaken. And I actually really like her videos because she's so she's like so well informed, and I will link her um, video on non comedogenic products and stuff down below. Um, and the way you can find out is normally they'll have it on the back. Let's see non comedogenic. So yeah, um, and I'm gonna try to show you this blush. Ooh. Let me swatch it. Maybe? Um, this one's Outside Cafe. It's very, um, hold on. I might have to edit this. Oh, okay. Maybe not. I just, um, used my Germanx. <laughs> um, it is a, um, I want to say it's kind of, Plummy. It's like more on the the darker side, I suppose. Um, all NYC cheek glows, as they call them, are very nude. Um, if they have an undertone, they'll have like a little bit of pink or a little bit of peach or something. It will never be like very bright colored or like so like hot pink or something. So yeah. And the next item is 655 Central Park Pink. And, um, I don't know if this. Huh. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take me a second. Oh, come on. Maybe I should have opened these before, but I was like, why not just open it on camera? And it's probably going to be like literally 30 seconds of me trying to open this. But it's okay. Um. Ha ha. Alright. Um, this one definitely has a pink undertone. Yeah, definitely. This one is very nude as well. It's, um, all, like I said, all of these are very nude. Um, I like these blushes. They're compact, but like the brush I use is the Elf blush, I mean bronzing brush. I'm pretty sure. 
um, and it brings out a lot of fallout, but I mean, I just pick it back up with the brush and just put it on my face. So yeah. So this one again is um, Outside Cafe, and this one is um, Central Park Pink. And you can see the difference between the two. Um, I have Riverside, which is um, a really nice nudie kind of peachy color. There's also a plum color that I didn't get. Um, I don't know why, I just, I don't know. I feel like my skin has too much of a yellow undertone. So I try not to get things that I feel won't suit me. Like bronzer, I want to try bronzer, but like... I feel like bronzer would just look really weird because yellow undertones and bronzing, browns, it's like, eh, no. Um, but if bronzer works on you and you have like a yellow undertone, let me know. I don't, it doesn't look like I have a yellow undertone because I'm using my webcam, but the reason why I'm using my webcam is because, um, number one, it's easier, and number two, you can actually see the writing because, um, the camera I have now is only like 5 megapixels and it doesn't, it's not very good at um, focusing because it doesn't focus. So yeah, okay, so the next one is this. And this is looking darker on camera than it really is. It's um, the New York Color Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder in Kaleidoscope. So I'll show you this. Okay, so this I feel like is going to come off easy, but it doesn't. I mean, it does come off easy, but only if you pull at it. Like, if you leave it alone, it's not going to come off. So, yeah. Alright, so there is a very light pink, a medium pink, a dark pink right here, and then a kind of purpley pink. Um... I know this is probably kind of hard to tell, like, the color variations. Let me just swatch these. So, this is the lightest, second lightest, third lightest, and fourth lightest. Obviously, dark to light. Um, so, yeah. Um, they are they don't um stick to the skin because I guess the crevice of my fingers is um just putting it off. I don't know. Um this is since it's a face powder you can use it for eyeshadow. Oh yeah. Well if you don't know what a face powder is, um you can use it for anything you need. You can use it for blush, you can use it for eyeshadow, you can use it as a mattifier for your lips. I don't know if anyone would do that, but yeah, I'll just grab a tissue. Okay, obviously I wasn't prepared. Um, okay, this already ended up to be like almost 10 minutes long. Okay, hold on. Let me just get comfy in my seat. All right. Okay, and the next item is this. This is another color wheel. And this is in Peach Glow. I haven't opened it. See, this is going to be like five minutes. Ago. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> the other one was kind of hard to open. Um, okay, so yada yada yeah. Oh. Urgh. Whoopsie. It just made it fall everywhere. Oh my gosh. Yep, so smart, Tiffany. Okay. Alright, well. In all actuality, it was already kind of cracked. I don't want to... Let me just pat this back down. Yep, so this is pretty much going to be a one-take vlog with mistakes, but it's okay. Um, okay, I'll just set it on my hand, so any fall falls on my hand. 
but these are the colors. Um, this color right here is the darkest, next, next, and the lightest. Um, oh, goodness. Um, this is very more summery, I would say. I would say it's very like beachy. Um, just have a glow. Um, okay, so this color, I'm gonna try this again. This color is a peachy color, a light peach color. And then, oh well, it's more like a hmm, a light skin color. That first one, this one's the peachy one. Sorry, that's the peachy one. This is a very light coral color. And then the last, whoa, that one's pigmented. Okay, that one was really pigmented. So I keep looking at the screen, not at you guys. And then this one is, I suppose not the darkest, but it's the most skin colored one. So I'll just have to make sure I take good care of that because I already dropped it and the pan was coming out. That wasn't cool. Um, so it's like all on inside. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me just get through this last one. Yep, I keep moving in and out. This thing's gonna be so long, but it's okay. Um, I know I have always edited my videos a lot, like, a lot, where it's, like, choppy a lot, and I apologize for that, um, but things like this happen, and then I have to edit it out. Um, okay, so then the last thing I got in the tree this, this, and it's 40 makeup wipes, um, these are also non-comedogenic, I think, yep, they're non-comedogenic, um, right there, right there, and they're also hyperallergenic, which is really good, um, Dollar Tree again, um, I also like that it has a flap where you can fold it back up, because who wants to have open makeup wipes everywhere, no one, um, I just totally got out of screen, um, so yeah, that's it. Um, any any and all reviews of this will be on my blog. Um, eventually, not definitely not now because I haven't even tried it. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys later. I hope you're having a good day. Um, good day, evening, night, morning. It just said evening and night in the same thing, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys later, and yeah, I know I just said that, wait, <laughs> okay, <laughs> obviously not edited, but I'm going to say it again, because obviously I'm not, duh, anyway, alright, so I'll see you guys later, bye.